Hello again and welcome back to our Android tutorial series. This is tutorial number seven. Uh, this is basically a continuation and enhancement on number five. Uh, this is the custom list adapter. But uh, in addition to that, we'll be going into uh, the view holder class and why we like to use it and what it's good for. So first, let's start off by showing you the tutorial. As you can see, it's up and running and still pretty much the same as before. I'm going to add a whole bunch of items this time to our list to make sure we have plenty of things in there. And you can see it scrolls really well. Uh, it's pretty fast, pretty inefficient, or pretty efficient, rather. Um, and uh, that's good, because we like efficient, fast user interfaces. Now, I only added about 20 things to this list, uh, and that's not a lot. That's not going to bog down anything. Um, but if you had a very, very long list... Uh, one of the tricks that you can use to enhance the speed of your list is the view holder class, and that's what we'll be covering right now. So as you can see, this is pretty much the same as 5. Um, let's open it up, and you can see the source. Same as before, a custom list, uh, item row, a uh, single Java class, and uh, a single main XML file as well. And let's see, as we scroll through the text, you can see... Everything else is the same as before until we get down to here. And now you can see in the uh, array adapter, um, we've got something called a view holder. And what that view holder does, basically, it caches the result of the find view by ID. We create this holder, and you can see the definition of the holder right down here. Pretty basic, just holds a text view. We create the holder, and this is all the same until we get down to here. We, we, uh, initialize the holder, and then we store the result of the find view by ID, and then we set a tag, or we get the tag, if we've already used this row before and we're recycling it. And then, from there, we use the holder to set the text on the uh, uh, row in the list. And it doesn't seem like it should make a big deal, but uh, actually, apparently it does. Uh, I've read the blogs and watched the Android tutorials uh, from the Google I.O. Uh, videos, and apparently this makes about a 30% increase uh, in your user interface efficiency, which if you have tens, if not thousands, uh, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of items in your list, uh, is a pretty substantial increase in performance. So this is the proper way to do it. This is the most basic implementation of this, uh, and I will be using uh, an enhancement on this basic implementation in all future uh, array adapters that I use in any more of my tutorials. So it's a good idea to understand this. If you don't um, uh, understand this, uh, you're probably going to be a little lost in some of the later tutorials. Uh, I'm going to in the next tutorial, I'm going to cover this in a little more depth. I'm going to flesh out my view holder, uh, clean it up a little bit more, abstract it, and uh, then that will be the basic template I use in all future ones. So we'll get to that one next.